A very simple setup today. I've got a frame size here. So I've got a sequence here, which is an SD sequence. It's 640 by 360. And there is a reason why I'm using such a miniature frame size here. This clip is a uh, UHD clip. It's a 2160p clip. And I'm looking at frame sizes today and scaling of frame sizes. So there used to be an option in uh, Premiere under, I think it was under edit preferences, and one of these uh, somewhere to scale every clip that you dropped into your timeline to fit the sequence so that if I drop this clip in, it would automatically size it to the SD timeline. But I never used that because I found that that is now the equivalent, if I right click on my clip here, that's the equivalent of scale to frame size. But now we have two options and maybe this existed before as well. I don't know because I can't remember. Uh, but we now have scale to frame size and set to frame size. So which one is the best one to use? Well, for me, set to frame size is always the best one to use because oddly, well, oddly, if you do scale to frame size, it's rescaling the video, but not actually changing the scale in your effects. So your scale remains at 100%, which seems sort of a bit sort of odd to me. I would have thought the rescale one would be the one that does that, but it isn't. Uh, you So if I do a rescale on this, if I do uh, set uh, scale to frame size now, well, great. I get a nice looking clip in my SD footage here. A nice looking shot in the woods here. But this is left at 100%. So if I want to rescale back up, so I've got 4K footage here, so I can like recompose it maybe. I just don't want this little bit here or I want to just have detail on the sign. So if I zoom in again now, so I can zoom in quite a lot to get to my original scale and maybe just move around and recompose the shot. Well, what am I left with? Well, if I zoom in in my actual capture window, you can see that I'm left with a very much degraded and artifacty looking image because I'm blowing up footage that has been rescaled. It has actually been totally rescaled and I'm now blowing it back up again. So that to me just seems like a kind of pointless option. I'm, I'm not quite sure where you would use that. If I just uh, kind of reset a few things here and uh, let's just turn this off. You can, of course, turn this off. The good thing with this is it's, a, it's not a one-way street. I can disable this and get back to where I was starting from. But I'm just not quite sure of the point of it. So if I yeah reset all this, I'm back to where I, where I started from now and right-click on here and do set to frame size. Now I get the same result here, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want. I want it scaled exactly to the size of my frame, but my scale has reduced. This is just purely done through um, the uh, the scaling method in the effect section of Premiere. Now I don't know if the 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 way in which you know it's rescales, you know the, whether it uses bicubic or Langsoft, I don't know whatever you call those uh, methods of rescaling is any better. If you do if you do this option, scale to frame size, maybe it's better. If you know for sure you're going to be using that clip, maybe that uses a better scaling technique. But from what I've seen. And in what, from what I've ever used, rescaling in the effects section is absolutely fine and creates beautiful looking footage. So I now have this footage here, but if I, if I want to go back in and reframe it, well, I can. And I'm left with the original quality of the clip. Well, the clip itself is not 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. And I can, you know, I can move across this sign. I can pan it. I can rescale it as I want it. Of course, I'll have to move the position back. And I can do all these standard things and the benefits that you get with using high-resolution footage in a slightly smaller frame. Now, you see why I used an SD thing to to um, to show you this. It's a bit clearer. But the same thing obviously happens in a, you know, when people scale from UHD to full HD. It's the same idea. So, what's the point of the scale? of this scale option. Is this kind of a legacy thing or is there a reason for this? Anyway, yeah, there's the difference between those two. And I personally would always use set to frame size. Saves a bit of time, saves you having to kind of adjust each clip manually in here. Uh, but you do have to do it clip by clip now, it seems. It doesn't seem to be an option or maybe I've just lost it. Maybe someone can point me in the right direction to where that option is. Anyway, that's it for now. Just a quick chat about scaling your footage in Premiere. I will catch you soon. Bye.